Oh, Marcus Conti. Investigative journalist, plaintiff in Conti versus DSNY. Where are we right there? <laughs> Uh, so I want to just a quick video. There's a guy. Uh, I'm trying to solidify the fact that foot patrol is in fact a form of punishment for DSNY because DSNY has argued that that's not the case. But of course we know anybody who's inside DSNY knows that foot patrol is in fact the the uh, choice of punishment for anyone who writes under 10 tickets, block facing, sectoring, whatever you want to call it, foot patrol. Take away your car, throw them out on the street. Now. There's one particular individual that uh, will solidify the fact that foot patrol is a punitive measure, block facing, whatever you want to call it, is a punitive measure for uh, in the in DSNY enforcement division. And I'm going to just I, I have not reached out to this individual. I don't know his uh, his contact information, but he was an agent in Manhattan. So if you were in the class. You know who I'm going to talk to. I'm going to refer to him as Agent A. I would like someone to come forward and give me his uh, his contact information or tap him on the shoulder and say, get in touch with Conti. Use the email, shorthappylife at uh, gmail.com. And uh, so here's the, here's the group shot. Uh, here's us. Class of 2015, he was a agent in Manhattan. And let's just put up his close-up. Okay, so now we know who he is, right? Everybody knows who he is. The people in Manhattan know who he is. Everybody in the class knows who he is, right? Let's just call him Agent A, right? And a Agent A had a had a bit of a, um, a problem in Manhattan with some of the supervisors. He had some issues with attendance that uh, require. I don't know. I, I I'm not I'm not the manager. I'm not. I was not privy to that information. However, he was running into some problems with attendance and. And then uh, he took a car out one day and apparently put the wrong fuel in the in the car. Right? I, I don't I don't know the details of it, but all I do know is that agents are required to fill up the cars with gas. You go down to the DSNY gas stations uh, inside the facility. We have gas pumps. You don't have to go to a gas station. You just go downstairs and you fill it up with gas or air or whatever the car needs. Right. Take care of the car. You check the fluids. Right, so, so uh, Agent A put in, put a, put in something into the, the the gas pump hole, the gas hole in the car, and filled it up with a mysterious fluid that caused the engine of the car to seize. Right? I don't know. Was the allegation? There was allegations or it's speculation that it was that he did it purpose. And, and you know, there was intention. That was his intention to seize the engine of the car. I don't know. And no one ever found out. But the long story short was that the engine of the car did seize. I was patrolling that day. Pepe, Lieutenant Pepe attacked him verbally on the radio and then went and, and, and harassed him, embarrassed him in the street, made him stand, the, you know. So, and again, if you, if you haven't forgotten, Pepe and Greenwood, the two ringleaders in my case, have both been, were both, terminated okay under mysterious circumstances they were both suddenly forced into retirement so both of them are gone but but uh agent a holds the key because after this all happened he was uh given foot patrol for a month right every day he would come in the days that he was there he would come in they would say agent a foot patrol now there were plenty of cars so that wasn't an excuse there were plenty of people he could have driven with no excuse it was foot patrol he was given foot patrol as a punitive measure and i have i've had many discussions with agent a i was in a car i was assigned with him several times so it's not like like i was watching from afar i've had a very you know uh confidential not confidential but but conversations with agent a about his situation and the fact and what he was going to do about it and the fact that they they used foot patrol as a punitive measure to force him to resign they kept dragging him into a room and saying you know with all these write-ups is you know you know you get you should just resign you know there's no they're going to fire you at the end of the year just resign right and they never did that to me because i of course i would tell him go fuck yourself you know i'm not going to resign 
You resign. You you resign, you fucking criminals. Right. But anyway, long story short, I want to get in touch with uh, Agent A. If someone has his info or someone can show him this video, I would like to hear from him about... Uh, because he he's a although we were all witnesses to it anybody who was a nine to five agent in Manhattan uh, in the year 2015 will know this agent was was punished uh, through the use of the foot patrol and all of the documentation all of his uh, 144s can be subpoenaed and so can the 206 book for that month where he was on foot patrol but more importantly to have his uh, to have him come forward and, and give us his testimony that foot patrol how how foot patrol was used uh, to punish him uh, it would be very it would be helpful so peace out.